I know you're vetting kids, but like they're looking at you and some other top teams in the in the country. Why come the link here, Adam? Like, what's your pitch to them? Yeah, so when when you want to be one of the best, you got to see how the best are doing it, Corey. So I went and did some extensive research on my own on how IMG operates, what they're doing, why they're so successful, why they're probably one of the best sports development academies in the country. What did their academics look like? What did their scheduling look like? And all those things. So I took two trips down to Bradenton and I have a friend that works for IMG and and there's just some people that have really helped me that have been through there or former employees of IMG. And just I've done extensive research on how that whole program works. And one of the things that they figured out that is brilliant is, and I don't know if a lot of people know this, isn't, and this isn't popular to say with academia, but it's reality. If, you, if your kid goes to a public school, Corey, and he gets there at 8 a.m. and he's there till 3.30 p.m., there is no kid in America that is being educated for that amount of time. There's no way. You, when you and I went to college, we, we were broken up into 50-minute block classes, and we maybe had three of those a day, and that was it. And so the idea of putting a kid in school from 8 a.m. to 3.30 p.m., it, it's really a time waster. What it is is really it's governmental babysitting. Right. Kids used to go to the schoolyard. They'd be in school till lunch. They'd get done at lunch and then they go work the, the, the family farms or the family businesses or whatever it was. They'd learn a trade. But, but now we got to keep our economy going. So we put kids in these public schools that are government funded with underpaid teachers that don't want to be there, that are disrespected and, and not treated well and, and overworked and underpaid. And so the sell to answer your question, that's my rant. But the sell is, hey, your kid can get all his core requirements and his NCAA requirements in in about a four-hour day. Not an eight-hour day, a four-hour day. And so let's, let's get him in four hours, get all his classes done, get him in study hall in the evening. But now that other four hours that I just freed you up from, which ends up being 20 hours a week, which ends up being 80 hours a month, you do the math, and then, and then you end up being – uh, 640 hours a year that you've just got more time in the gym, more time in the weight room, more time to develop than a kid in a public school will never catch up. You, you just got 600 plus hours in a year in the gym and the weight room that this kid will never get. That's the sell. And by the way, we're going to stay on top of academics because Corey, the funny thing is one of the things these other schools that saw us as a threat want to say is that our academics weren't legit. By the way, I just had a kid last week commit to Stanford for those that want to say our academics aren't legit. So it's, it's, it's just doing it more efficient. I, I'm a huge fan of efficiency and not wasting kids' time. So that, that's really the sell. 